about to make some of that um, insecticide concoction. That homemade insecticide I made. And this is garlic. This is regular garlic. This is wild garlic. With the uh, really stiff stems. Um, so I'm going to put, instead of using like real, regular, delicious, succulent garlic, I'm going to use the, the wild garlic. I'm going to use uh, mostly the heads because these little, um, I can't remember what you call these things. <coughs> They're not really good for much. I mean, you can cook with them. Put them in um, soups or whatever. But, um, you know, they're kind of hard to use. And, uh, you know, they still have those funky little, little, um, skins on them. Just get a little bit in the way. Anyway, I'm just going to crush these. I'm going to crush these in the, um, where's the pestle? Here's a head, I mean a uh, clove, oops, alright, got it, anyway these little cloves are hard to crush, they have very hard skins, they're not papery and soft like the domestic stuff, but I'm, you know, I don't need to do much to this stuff, I just, I just wanted to kind of break the, the flesh so that when I stick it in the pot, this thing is heavy. They uh, quickly exude their stuff and I threw in um, some of these funky peppers I got at the Asian store as well as <coughs> some peppers that I had sitting around in my pantry for a few a couple of years. It's more than a couple of years. I don't even know how long it's been. It's that sad. But because you know, they are old and they probably lost some flavor or whatever, I just put them in the pot because instead of throwing them away, I can use them for my, um, my mixture. starts to boil, I'm just going to shut off the fire immediately and just let it steep. It's almost there. Actually, oh, there it goes. Nice rolling boil. It looks good enough to eat, doesn't it? Anyway, not really, because it's got, well, I mean, if it wasn't for the soap wort, it would be good enough to eat. It's got nettle, we'll make a nice nettle soup. Nettle, garlic, chili peppers, what's not to like? But then I put the soap wort, so. Maybe next time, no, actually I don't like nettle tea at all, so. I don't suspect I'll like the soup. Alright, so there it goes. Nice rolling boil. I'm going to shut off the fire and uh, put the lid on it. This is a bad lid. Right, it's almost 12 hours later. And as you can see, everything's kind of nicely settled, brewed. Um, I would say that at this point, all the goodness has come out of the herbs. The good thing about doing it like this is that I can just, um, I don't need to filter it. So all the ingredients are whole. I cannot find my ladle, so...
This works just as well. So the benefit, I, like I said before, is that I don't have to uh, use a filter because I use everything whole. The garlic was whole, the herbs were whole, and I'm going to put some mint essential oil, and that's pretty pure, so <laughs> it's not going to clog up the sprayer bottle. And pour it into the bottle. Okay. So this is mint essential oil. Let me see if I can do this without making a giant mess. Alright, so I'm putting a capsule in there. There you go. So, I'm going to put the uh, spray bottle and every time I use it, I'm going to shake. All set. Check it out. It's, um, I think it's 6.30. Well, no, it's got to be 7 because Jeopardy's on. But, um, here they are. The nights have been very cool and the days have been somewhat cooler. So I guess uh, that's, that's the key to 4 o'clock. That's a nice surprise. And in the meantime, I made that stuff <coughs> I'm about to spray because um, I'm getting a lot of white fly this year. I didn't get a lot of white fly last year at all. Actually, I don't think I, I don't think I had to fight with white fly at all last year. And so I'm almost out of out of um, practice with this stuff. Although I have to say I've never used this before. So um, anyway. Why flies are getting completely out of hands, so I had to do something about it. <laughs> um, I think I think that with uh, the mint in particular, that I should be getting a quick result out of this. And look at that! Holy cow! Let me see if I can show you again. I don't know, can you see that? The flurry of white flies coming up. Ooh, it's terrible. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep doing this for a while. <laughs> Alright, so I came over here and sprayed some stuff. These scales are not as bad as the ones that I have at home, but it still got a lot of white fly. Now the other day I made a video and I was I was not noticing while I was out here. <laughs> but you can see it in the camera. If you're looking at it, you know, without the camera it doesn't really look that much different. But with the camera you can see that that patch of yellow and then when you get closer you see all those dead leaves. For some reason I didn't see that before, but I think that there's like mites that are taking over this this patch here for some reason. <clears throat> I don't know why they're not all over. But needless to say, I'm gonna spray this stuff and see if it does any good. I mean, the rest of the plants look fantastic. They look healthy, so I think it's just um, like I said, dust mites. Not dust mites. 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 If you look closely, I don't know if you can see. You kind of look around the edges of this leaf here. You can kind of see a little bit of a cobweb. That's how you know that you got dust mites. Not dust mites. I keep saying dust mites. They're just mites. Mites. 
<laughs> anyway, so unfortunately I ran out of uh, the insect spray. I mean, I got like, I, I have a whole bunch at home. I just didn't bring all that. I just brought one bottle. <laughs> I'll bring the rest tomorrow. Anyway. <sighs> Mosquitoes are eating me up. Um. Anyway, I wanted to show you this one thing. Which is a very curious and yucky thing. But, uh. You can see all that stuff shiny stuff that's uh slugs slug uh trails can you see them yucky i don't know why they they're just all over this the edge of this this uh right here i don't know why i don't really see a lot anywhere else but um anyway I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Alright, so I think I'm done here for now. I haven't had my dinner yet, and my husband is probably gonna call me in a minute saying, What are you doing out there? It's getting dark. So, thanks for watching.